So again, it, it, a lot of people, they have wishful thinking, right? They hope, they wish, but, but until you have the numbers down, that's why I'm very big on numbers. I'm not a huge math person, but, but, but I understand basic math, right? Like if we have a product, how many do we have to sell to, to make profit? And that's why with you in the, in the very beginning with your book, I kept telling you, yeah, okay, that's fine. We can run Facebook ads to get people to download the book. But after that, because it's a free book, after that, once we get their email and once we're emailing them and once, we're, once we get them on the phone, what are we selling them next? That's what I kept wanting to go over I with you. To back out. I had to back out. I got it afterwards. It wasn't when you were talking to me. It was yeah, 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 was- yeah. Of course, of course. You'll, you'll get it. You'll get it eventually. But my point is, is that. I mean, that's like, oh, I don't have anything to sell them. So yeah. what am I doing this for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to You got to develop that product. So in 20, okay. in 2019, 20, 20, 2019, 2020, that's when I was developing my product. So yes, I'll run an ad to a free download, wow. but, and, 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 and I'll do that. But, but after I run an ad to a free download and then I figure out what the audience wants, then I can create a digital course or I can create a coaching program. See the coaching program is first. That's what you do first. You do a coaching program where you're doing one-on-one calls with clients, people that are buying your coaching program. So after they download your book, they get into your funnel. Now they're getting emails. Now they schedule a call with you and you sell them a coaching program, which consists of your time, coaching calls, five calls with Christy on how to be a great public speaker or whatever it may be. But you're, but that's a package. That's a coaching call package. After you get a handful of people that buy that, you're not going to want to do that forever because that's going to take your time. You're going to be on calls all damn day and it's going to be very, very exhausting. That's where I'm at right now. I have a ton of coaching clients and it's exhausting. So that's step one. No, step one is the free ebook. Step two is the coaching program. Now you're buying five of my coaching calls and I'm going to teach you one-on-one on Zoom how to be a great whatever, in your case, public speaking. And then number three, step three is once you get a handful of clients that buy the coaching program and you figure out exactly what they, what, how to service them and exactly the coaching calls and you figure out exactly what they need, then you turn it into a membership course and it's video only. Then you take that video course and you sell the shit out of that. And, and now the video course, it doesn't take any of your physical time. Now I'm not having to get on one-on-one calls with Christy anymore because people are just buying my video course. And so that's where I'm at right now. In 2021, I'm, I've am i been working on it for a while, man. It's not an overnight thing. That's why you think I know this shit like the back of my hand. I do now, but it's taken me a few years. You know, like, yeah, so that's yeah. why I keep telling you, don't be hard on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. You're not going to learn it overnight. You have to be, you have to be consistent. You have to just, just, just do a little bit every day. And, and so I've been doing a little bit every day. I should I, actually, I, I've been doing a lot every day for the past three, four years. So, 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 um, but, but I'm talking specifically on this, right? So now where I'm at right now is, is yes, I, I still take on coaching clients. That's still a big part of my income where I sell people coaching, a coaching call, you know, program where I'm on the call, just like I did with you, just like I did with you, where we're on a handful of calls and I'm teaching you Facebook ads. Mm-hmm. That's, that's my program. But, but again, where, where I'm at now is I'm, I'm, I already refined it. So now everything is going to go into video form and I'm going to be selling that at a higher ticket. So how do we get to 10,000 a day? Here are the basic numbers. Once you have the price of the program, whether again, whether it's your coaching calls or whether it's a video course, again, the coaching calls should come first. And then after that, you're not going to want to do one-on-one coaching calls anymore. Now you're going to exactly know, you're going to know exactly what the audience and what the, what the market needs and wants, because you already bought, you already got people to buy your coaching. So now you're able to put it all in video form and sell that at a higher ticket, but automate all of it. So now we're no longer doing one-on-one coaching calls. Now, if anything, maybe we do one group coaching call a week for everybody who bought your high ticket program. And again, your high ticket program is videos, membership course. That's what's inside of Kartra. And so here is where I'm at right now. So I'm getting ready to release this. And this is a course that I'm selling to real estate agents. 
So, so it's not for everyone. It's, 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 it's everything I taught you, for example, but I just tailor it towards real estate agents because that's who I've been working with since 2016 is real estate agents. And then it wasn't until I started documenting it on YouTube in 2017. And I, and I realized that everything that I teach real estate agents, it's for any business. So that's when on YouTube, that, that's why on, on YouTube, I started, I started generalizing my message because I knew that it was for any business, for any small business, any medium business, what I was teaching was for everyone. So that's why on YouTube, people like you ended up finding me on YouTube because my messaging, it's, it's for everyone now. But, but when, I, when it comes to my digital course and what I'm getting ready to, ready to release in 2021, this is, this is the, the simple price point. So knowing, knowing exactly what I'm selling it for, knowing exactly what the credit card processing company charges me and then and then and then what i'm doing out of every cell i'm actually investing 15 percent. so so from 1997 i minus the 2.9 percent credit card fee and then i minus 15 percent, which is 300 per cell and then that leaves me with 1640. so so what I'm doing is I'm I'm going to be smart about this. I'm going to invest each 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 cell. I'm investing fifteen percent, and where I'm investing it is actual cryptocurrency. Where I'm investing it is Bitcoin. You know, so I'm taking I'm taking fifteen percent of every nineteen ninety seven cell, which is three hundred, yeah. and I'm investing it. Yeah. So now that leaves me with my net my net profit per cell is sixteen forty. So to get to let's just say. 10,000 a day, we need to be selling, we need to be selling, and, and let's just put Facebook ad cost into it. We need to be selling seven a day, seven a day. And that's going to happen with a Facebook ad campaign, driving Facebook advertising, getting people to click to watch my webinar. When they watch my webinar, I sell them my 1997 course. I want to be selling seven of them while I'm sleeping or on a freaking island butt naked with my wife. Like I want to just be like making sales, whether I'm a dead or alive. And 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 to be at that number, ten thousand per day, for example, that's seven sales a day. I mean, seven sales a day is eleven thousand a day. You know, but but if I was just doing six sales a day, that's ninety eight hundred a day. Now, is that going to happen overnight? Probably not. I have to really, really get it out there. And, and, and but at the same time, I understand Facebook ads. I, I, I mean, I'm selling my course for 90, 1997. I bought courses for 5,000. And, and most of the courses range from, from 997 to 14 to 1500 to 1997. So this is the, this is the normal price. I'm not selling anything crazy, you know, that's overpriced. No, this is the going rate for courses. And so I have a great course. You have a great, a great, you don't have your course yet, but you have a great business. You have a great product. You're coaching, like you're teaching public speaking. Like that right there is phenomenal. You could, once you really narrow in and learn how to really package it up as a, as a product right now, you, you right now you're offering a service. You're offering a coaching call. Christy is offering her one-on-one -on -one time. But once you learn how to take that and put it in video form, and package it up in a membership course. And now we're selling that, but we're not relying just on social media marketing. We're not relying just on Facebook and going live in your Facebook group. Hell no, we're not relying on any of that. None of that organic. LinkedIn, your Instagram, posting on Instagram. Hell no, we're not relying on any of that. Your personal Facebook page, throw it away. We're not relying on any of that. It's all paid traffic. It has to be, it's all Facebook ads. That's why it's that's why I that's why you so knew from the beginning you, Facebook ads and Kartra. That's it. Do you then suggest that when you uh, first of all, I would love um, love for you to do four five day um, do ad for me. Okay, I would like for you to, to do ad for me. I have something that I'm um, that I'm doing on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm crippled. I, not, I just like, I don't know. I'm well, crippled, to be honest with you. Uh, but again, I, I've already set it up, so I have to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that for sure. We'll do that for sure. Um, and so next so I was asking, yeah, next Wednesday. So, but people have to register, and that's where the kicker is. I have to get people to register. 
okay mm -hmm. and at this point um i only have uh, i think uh, eight or ten people registered already for the free as they say a master class mm -hmm. that i'm doing on wednesday but in that master class i'm going to be um um selling a product for uh, on, on that master class but then as you are looking at your number if i think about how many people would i need to get i decided since i don't have enough time maybe do put more money in the ad instead to get as many people as i can because the what four or five days is short that's what i decided to do yeah but again you're just that, that's fine you could do that but i'm just saying it's like you're 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 just way behind like we got to catch up like we got to catch up like first of all like you're you're talking about running an ad to a cold market of people who don't know you and we want them to register so it has to be just a great a great ad like a great video like maybe you know it it would have to be a video like it would have to be a video you know so a video getting people to register and 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 taking them to taking them to a landing page, and or unless you plan on taking them to a to a Facebook um, event page, like I guess you can do that, but that's that's just all a waste because driving, like for I was, example, what's that? I was that? going to take them to a free masterclass. The masterclass is free; they are learning free there. But yeah. in that free masterclass, then I will sell my my program which is also cheap. So that's what I was planning to do. Yeah, you could, you could do that. But, but what you're going to want to start doing is, is you're going to want to start doing that. If, if you plan on doing it live like that, that's a live, you know, webinar, that's a live that's presentation, live. right? Yeah. So if that's your strategy, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, you're going to absolutely want to do that once per week. So once per week, Every, every Wednesday, you're doing a live webinar and you're running Facebook ads to get people to register. And the reason why you would have to do it every week, because you're not going to be able to run an ad right now and get a ton of people to register for, for next Wednesday when no one knows you. You can't just run one ad. You can't. So, if you're, so, so that's why the strategy is every week. Because if you can start doing it every week, then what, what you're going to start doing is what, what you're going to have the ability to start doing is you're going to now have the ability to create audiences of those who are watching your videos, but maybe not have registered yet. That's audience number one. You're going to retarget. So if I, if I run another one next week, I did one this week, and then I do another one next week. Okay, we run another ad the second week, and we're going to retarget everyone who watched the first ad because those are people who haven't registered. So we're going to retarget them. And then, and then audience number two on who we're going to retarget are those who land on the landing page, but didn't register. So those are two very important audiences that most overlook and don't even strategize on retargeting. Your ROI is on retargeting. Your ROI is on retargeting your custom audiences, people who have already engaged with your stuff in the past. If you're not doing that, there's no ROI. And that's what most don't do. So wow. they, they run an so ad and they just think that that one ad is going to do it for them. It's like, hell no, no one even knows you. Even with me, like you think I'm someone online. I'm not like you, you think I have a, 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 a huge YouTube channel. I don't yet. Like I don't at all. So if I were to run an ad right now, I do have a lot of, I do have data for my Facebook pixel because I have my Kartra and I have like all my pages, like over here, like, like I have a lot of data. Like I have my Facebook pixel on my pages. I have email lists. So me, I can create audiences around people and then target them on Facebook. Like I can do that where I'm at now. But if I didn't have all these pages with my Facebook pixel on them, I wouldn't have all that data. So in your case, you don't have a bunch of data on a Facebook pixel. So you would completely come out the gate right now and run a cold ad. And so again, if we think we're going to run a, 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 a one ad to a cold audience of people who don't know you, and we're only going to plan on doing that one time, we're crazy. Like, don't even waste your money. So, so the strategy would have to be weekly because weekly, if I do one live webinar every week, that's something I can start promoting and running Facebook ads. And again, 
capture the two audiences that I'm going to need to retarget. Audience number one, those who watch my videos but don't register. And audience number two, those who land on my landing page but don't register. Those two audiences need to be retargeted for week number two, week number three, week number four, week number five, week number seven, week number six. We got to always retarget those people. So what you have to look at, you should look at it as as a as a as an eight week campaign for the next for the next eight weeks. Every Wednesday, Christy is going to do a live webinar. That's how you should look at it. And you don't have to spend a lot like you don't have to spend a lot like you don't have to like spend thousands of dollars a month on it. Like you, you, you have to, you, you know, you have to start where you're at, but, but it has to be paid advertising. It's not going to be, it's not going to be organic traffic for you at all. You only, you don't even have a thousand friends on your personal Facebook page. So it's not going to happen that way. And the friends that you do have, have on your personal Facebook page, they're not all women. And then the, and the women that you do have on your personal Facebook page, they're not all interested in public speaking. So if you think you can go Facebook live, you're crazy. You know, not you just speaking in general, you know, like, so it has to be okay. Facebook advertising, but that's the strategy is to, is to build up your audiences, to build up the Facebook pixel and to do it every week. That's why a live webinar is, is exhausting. It's exhausting, you know, cause you're doing it live. And, and that's why where, where, where you ultimately want to be is you want to be that you want to record that, do it, do it live one time and then record it. Record it, and then that's what you start to run Facebook ads to, is, is your recorded presentation. And, and, and that's when you start to get people to either watch your recorded presentation off from a Facebook ad and either, either, either buy your coaching program or buy your membership course. You know, that, that's, okay. that's ultimately, ultimately what you want to be doing. And, and, and even in your case right now, like, like what you really plan on selling, like your actual service that you actually have plan on selling. If you're selling it for $100, $97, $49, a couple hundred bucks, like what's the price point? What were you thinking? Like on, on your, how much? $497. Yeah, see, look, and, and that eight, consists of coaching calls? Eight week course. Okay, perfect. And, and that's eight calls or it's all one-on-one -on -one coaching calls? No, it's, it's group coaching. Okay, so... If, if, if the goal is to sell a 497, so again, am I going to, am I going to have a link to purchase that or yes. is it, is it, do I have to get on the call, a call with you for you to take my credit card? No, you have to, uh, when I do the webinar, when I do the masterclass next Wednesday, mm -hmm. at the masterclass, they will have a link to, okay. to purchase. sign up for the class and pay they're not 497. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So here's the deal. Here's what's way, way important. Here's, here's what's the most important. Okay, look, you're going to do this webinar. People are going to have the link. They're going to click on the link. When they click on that link, it's going to come to the, to, the, to the add to cart page is what we call it. The add to cart page. This is the sales page. This is the, this is the page where they're able to process their payment. If you notice up here, my Facebook pixel is on it. So now here's what's going to happen. You're going to have X amount of people that click, come over here, look at everything, and then leave. Those are people that need to be in a custom audience. So your Facebook pixel needs to be on this specific page. And, and if you look at mine, mine is add to cart. So this right here is a very specific audience because what I'm going to want to do in week number two is I'm going to want to retarget that audience. These are people who landed here but didn't check out. So again, all that cannot happen on one ad to a cold market of people who don't know you. So, okay. so everyone who lands on this page goes into a custom audience. That custom audience is called, like, watch, I'll show you. That custom audience is... <laughs> This one right over here. So that custom audience is add to cart. And so now from Facebook ad number two, Facebook ad number three, Facebook ad number four, every single ad from this point on, I'm going to retarget that audience. I'm going to retarget those who are watching my videos, but haven't registered. I'm going to retarget everyone who lands on the landing page, but didn't, but didn't, did, but didn't register. 
And I'm going to retarget everyone who lands on the checkout page, but didn't buy. And, and the fourth audience and what I'm going to always do from ad number two and on, I'm going to always, always exclude, exclude those who actually purchase. So when I click on your link, and I purchased for $4.97, I enter my credit card information, I come to the order complete. People who land on this page, my Facebook pixel is tracking, you can tell I am categorizing it in Facebook under purchase. So now these people who land on this specific link, these people are my clients. So now what I wanna do from Facebook ad number two and on, I wanna always exclude these people. These people do not need to keep seeing my ads. So there's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot that goes into it. But again, this is what I'm here to teach you. Like I was, my whole, my whole thing was to teach you how to do all this stuff. Um, but then we got to the point where you wanted me to do it for you. But I just truly believe you need to learn it. Facebook ads, Kartra. Those are the only two things you ever need. We need to learn those two things and that's it. But over here, look, my audiences. So here's my, look, this is my ad to cart. This is my ad to cart. So when I go run my future ads, I'm going to always retarget this audience. I'm going to always retarget my, um, my, let's see, my, um, web class registrants. Let's go, let's go web class or web class page views. So this right here, web class page views, TSRE web class page views. These are people who land on the landing page, but don't register. I want to always retarget them. And then, and then what I have is I have my course students. So these, this audience, these are people who actually bought. So again, when I run ads, I'm going to always exclude this audience. These are my clients. So they don't need to keep seeing my ads promoting my weekly webinar. They already purchased, right? So, so that pixel, these pages, creating audiences, retargeting those audiences, that's all it's about. And, and, and that right there, again, is, is what most don't do. They don't, they don't do any of that. They run one ad and they get you know, pissed off because they didn't, it didn't do anything for them, you know, and then they go talking crap about how Facebook ads don't work. It's like, dude, you don't work. Like you didn't do it right. Like at all, you know? So, so what happens on, um, so for example, on the download, I only have a few people for the download free book and on, um, on the people that re registered, so far on Eventbrite or where I went and spoke somewhere and people registered from there for the webinar, for the masterclass, I have about maybe eight, eight people already, eight, 10 people, I don't know exactly, registered from my talking and giving them a link to register there. But then right here on, um, on Kartra, if I, I put it on Kartra, but I think, um, I don't know, I need to take those people on Inventbrite because I need to bring all of them together to Kartra so that everybody will be on the same, uh, will be in Kartra. All my, everybody mm -hmm. that has contact with me will mm -hmm. be in Kartra. So I don't have to go here, go here, go here. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um um, that's one thing I have to do so that even the old list I was going to trash, maybe not trash it, but put them, tag them differently mm -hmm. from an old, you know, when you go to speak and all of them are not your clients, they just give you a list, but you realize that these are not really your clients, but you never know. Mm -hmm. Maybe there'll be somebody there interested. I don't know. I was going to trash the list and something tells me maybe don't trash the list yet. Mm -hmm. But maybe when you bring them to Kartra, um, tag them something else that will let you know this is not your current uh, um, leads. These are somewhere you spoke before and you got a list from there. Okay. What are your thoughts on it? No, yeah, for sure. Like you, all, whatever, whatever email provider you're using, like that list is the most important. Like that list 
of, of, of opt-ins or people who have done certain things, like that's a, that's, that's good data that you need. Cause with that, I mean, your email marketing is, is everything, but at the same time with, with a, with an email list, you can also create an audience. So you can create a Facebook audience around, around, you know, people that are on a list. Like if I come over here, I click on the blue one and I go custom audience. And then I, I come over here to um, um, list, or I, I think it's contacts. Yeah, customer list right here, customer list. So all I got to do is take my email list, upload it to Facebook, so I can I can come over here, I can import from Mailchimp, or I can I can um, I can I can simply hit next. It's right here, and then I and it's telling me customer value is a value associated. So I'll just put yes, and then next, and then all I have to do is come to my like folder. So for example, you take it out of Eventbrite or even if you take in and, and even you would take it out of Kartra, but to put it all on one list. Okay. Yeah. Put it all on one first, maybe Kartra. So put everything on a Kartra email list first, and then we export it. We export that file. We put that file on our computer and then we come over here and we upload it to Facebook. So we come over here to our downloads. We look for that file. We upload it to Facebook and now we name it. This is my, my whatever email list, email list of registrants, email list of clients, email list of whatever. Now that's an audience. Now what I can do is I can run a Facebook ad and target them. So again, it's, it's, it's all about, it's all about I'm audiences. Delete. I'm glad I didn't delete it because I was going to delete those, but then one thing said, just don't delete them yet. Just mm -hmm. leave it for now. Maybe mm -hmm. there's something you can do with them in the future. And they can always have the access to opt out if they don't want to be on my list. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, I sent you, um, so how, how do we do this now? I sent you, can you, if you go to your email, um, if you go to your email, I sent you um, pass, was it password to log in through, through LastPass? Okay, I'll, I'll look at it now. Any any other questions on on how to get to ten thousand per day? This is, I mean, I saw six. Is that sixteen million right there? <laughs> yeah, this is 16, sixteen million. So that's why when you okay. when you know your market and then and then and then you you break it down. Like so, for example, real estate agents. There's two million real estate agents. So it's like if I got ten thousand of them, if I got ten thousand out of two million, which ain't nothing. If I got ten thousand over the next couple of years to buy my program and I'm basing it off of my net profit, which is 1640 per unit. That's 1640 times 10,000, that's 16 million in net profit after my credit card fee, after, after me even taking 15% out of each sale and investing it, you know, so. Mm, I, love that. I love the idea of your 15%. Yeah. Yeah. 15%. You got to, you got, and that's one thing I wish I started earlier. I wish I started investing earlier, but again, at the same time, my whole goal was to build a business and then invest in real estate. But where we're at now, I'm investing in my business. And now what I want to do is I want to start investing in Bitcoin. Like I truly believe in, in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and where we're headed with digital currency. Like I, I'm investing in that right now, but, 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 but yeah, in this case, like, you got, you got to put away a site, it, whether that's, whether that's investing or whether, whether you're just putting it away to save it, like, right. Like you want to, you want to save. And most of us don't save. Like most of us don't save. We blow money on bullshit, right. We don't save like most of us, yeah. you know, so you have so, to, save. you really have to save because mm -hmm. that's why a lot of people are in big trouble. Now you have to save. You have to, um, you have to, but it, but it's very hard when we're not making as much money, right? It's very hard. So I understand it on every, you know, level of it. You know, if you're not making enough and you're barely getting by, it's hard. But but you that's why you got to have a side hustle. You got to build something online. You got to sell something online. You got, I'm just, uh, that's why my whole brand inspired digital. You know, a few years ago, I just got inspired by making money online. You know, so, and and now we're all in. So but that's just basic numbers, Chris. You just wanted to share that with you. And, and that's kind of, you know, the whole plan. That is, that is, yeah, that is, uh, you got all the way 16 million. That's enough to make you just go, wow. And see 10 cells a day. I truly believe these are small numbers, right? Even at 10, even at 10 cells per day, that's 16,000 a day. 
This is all per day. So even if I was, even if I was just selling two per day, that's 3280 a day. But even if I was selling two per week, if I was selling two per week, that's 3200 a week. Not too many people even make 3200 a week. You know, so so even just selling three per week, I'm making 4900 a week while I'm sleeping. No coaching call one on one group coaching call, but not one on one. Like that's where I'm at right now is coaching one on one. And that's very time consuming. And it's fine. I'm refining my program to get it to this level where I'm just automating it all. Everything is automated, you know, so that's just, you know, a goal. And, and that's those are the numbers. That's awesome. That's